Hundreds of people have gathered in Gaza City for the funeral of a Palestinian killed during protests on Friday. Three other Palestinians and one Israeli soldier also died in the violence. But the Israeli military says the lives of its civilians living close to the Gaza Strip should return to normal after a ceasefire agreement was reached with Hamas. Journalist at the Electronic Intifada, Sami Abu Salem, joins me now live from Gaza with more. So this is the second time in just under a week uh, for an attempt at a ceasefire. Do you think that this ceasefire will hold or, or could there likely be violations? Uh, I expect that uh, there will be uh, violations because uh, because the Israeli occupation consists and because uh, the Palestinian freedom fighters are fighting or resisting, resisting the Israeli occupation. I understand that the political understandings, the truth or things like, uh, like this, but from time to time there are Israeli violations. The first violation, the existence of the occupation. This is number one. Number two, that uh, Israel is supported supported by atrocity and injustice by UK and uh, United States. For example, today, United States said that, uh, uh, they, they declared that, or they understand that Israel has the right of self-defense. And UK uh, expressed their concern about the killing of an Israeli sniper. But they did not express their concern about killing about 200 Palestinian, Palestinian civilians near the border. As long as this injustice continues, I think that violations, violations would continue. Uh, I think uh, as long as the Palestinian freedom fighters have the right to fight for their rights, I think uh, that escalation will, 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 uh, uh, will happen from time, from time to time. Today, for example, uh, personally, I hear some gunshots. I do not know if there is somebody. I have no news so far if there is somebody wanted or not. And also there are some balloons, some balloons also uh, were launched, uh, launched to the Israeli side, launched and dashed by, uh, by wind and uh, some, uh, some fire, which I, sus uh, I suspect because sometimes, or I have seen some uh, videos says that the Israelis seems themselves set fire to their fields. Uh, but it does not mean that uh, the Palestinians do not do that. Anyway, I think or I expect that uh, we will uh, testify violations and it is linked to the uh, atrocity and injustice and also it links maybe to the, uh, the, Palestinians, uh, the Palestinian mm -hmm. internal side. Yeah. For example, every time when we, will, we, when we tes testified that there is um, a reconciliation between Hamas and PA, uh, we will. We also testify uh, a military escalation from the Israeli side. Today, if I can, if I can interrupt real quickly, or, uh, because the these these, uh, these these um, protests the Palestinians have been holding every week since March. There have been some 140 Palestinians have been killed. Do the people of Gaza see these protests as effective, and do you see them continuing, given the number of people who who've died? You are right. Yeah, since the 13th of March, uh, people are being killed, are being killed. But uh, the, you, uh, you ask a good question. What is the alternative? What, the, what we or what the Palestinians in Gaza should do? Stop or not? Uh, every Friday we testify killing, killing, uh, killing. But I think that uh, maybe we will testify some truth, yes. But after one or two weeks or two months, uh, escalation will erupt again because there is no hope uh, for, for ordinary people. Uh, no, ho no, no, no political hope, no economic hope, nothing for the guys to do. I met some of those guys who, are near, who go, go near the fence with the, with the Israeli side and ask them why you are coming here. You are coming to die. The Israeli snipers have no mercy and they will kill you. They said, we have nothing to do. We have no work, no job, no, uh, no chance to, for traveling. We have nothing. We are coming, coming here just to do something. Uh, the, the, this reason dashes guys go to go to the fence, even um, after listening to calls from Hamas, for example, or any other faction, or individually. Before the 13th of March, also I have seen people go to the, to the fence, as long as there is no political or economic, 
or economic hope, I think escalation will continue. And also it is connected to the Palestinian internal side. All right, Sami Abu Salem from the Electronic Intifada joining us live from Gaza. Appreciate your thoughts on this tonight.